Johnson & Johnson officially seeking emergency use authorization from the FDA for its COVID-19 vaccine booster shots in people 18 and older. The company says the data shows its booster dose increases protection to 94%, this against moderate and severe COVID-19 reactions. Now, we've told you before, an FDA advisory committee is set to meet next week. It will discuss boosters for Johnson & Johnson, boosters from Moderna, and it would also talk about taking a different brand, perhaps, for your booster dose. We know there's still a lot of questions out there, though, about boosters. So WCNC Charlotte's Megan Bragg is here to verify some of those. Some people are still concerned about getting the Johnson and Johnson vaccine in general. According to the CDC, there's a plausible casual relationship between the Johnson and Johnson vaccine and rare and serious blood clots with low platelets. This occurs at a rate of about seven per 1 million vaccinated women between 18 and 49 years old. For women 50 years and older and men of all ages, this adverse event is even more rare. Because of this, one viewer asked, Johnson & Johnson was my original vaccine, but I'm not interested in getting a booster from them. Can I switch to Pfizer? Well, according to the CDC, right now authorized boosters are only for those who received the Pfizer vaccine originally. So right now, no, you can't mix and match both boosters. For those who are looking to get the booster, many are wondering, have people reported side effects after getting a booster? FDA documents show most trial participants reported effects, but there were still some who didn't. The side effects reported were similar to the first two shots, pain at the injection site, fatigue and chills. Injection site pain was more common in the first shot. Fatigue and chills were more common in the second shot and boosters. Now we'll be answering more questions when it comes to the booster coming up at five, but you can always reach out to me on my social media pages or email verify at WCNC.com. With your verify, I'm Megan Bragg. And Megan kind of alluded to this with the first question that she touched on. Wonder, mind you, Pfizer is the only COVID vaccine right now that is approved as a booster, but it's only for certain populations, at-risk populations. So those are the folks who are only eligible at this time.